loud. Hooked rugs, ashtrays from Niagara Falls, plastic birds, ornaments, glass balls on concrete stands. Every year, there must be 70 million tons of roadside junk bought by migrating Americans. has as yet fully explained the urge that large numbers of people have to dot their lawn with plastic flamingos or elves squatting under toadstools. When he's at home and in his right mind, he would never think of buying a pink plastic duck. But when he's on the road, somehow it makes sense. Anything I can do for you? Oh, no, thanks. We're just looking. I love these windmills, though. Yeah. They spin. Yeah, wind does it. Oh, honey, isn't that clever? The wind does that. Yeah, and them ducks, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at those blue mirror balls. Mandy, please cut that out. Hi, dear. Uh, just a few more minutes, honey. The crucial moment that a fan of slob art makes a decision to buy and actually pay for a concrete toad or a gold mirror ball, <laughs> and they don't come cheap either, is a moment when he is making an important artistic decision. I'm gonna make you sit in the car, Ralph, if you hit your little brother one more time. That gold mirror ball, that toad, could become a family heirloom, passed down from one suffering generation to the next. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, we got an automatic model that comes with a motor and batteries if you live where there ain't no wind. That is so nice. I love this blue one with the yellow veins. Oh, that's a popular model, ma'am. Uh, that and this red one. Oh, sell a lot of them. It is my belief that most purchases of this sort of lawn slob art are instigated by women. I've rarely met a man who has an uncontrollable urge to buy a Dutch windmill. Where the heck are we gonna put it? How much is it? Well, since it's the end of the shipment, I can let you have it for, oh, um, 28 95 Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, Ma, how about one of these? No, honey, I, I really like the windmill. Oh, that's a good choice, ma'am. This comes with a money-back guarantee. If you're not fully satisfied, you get your money back in 10 days. I really want it, honey. Where's Granny? You're looking at him. Your Granny? Well, it used to be called Elmer's Old Log Cabin, but business wasn't so good. So I changed it to Granny's Log Cabin, see? And tripled my business. <laughs> see, I started out with that old big Mexican out there. You know, everybody thinks he's concrete, but he's really made of bread dough, see? And the only problem I've had really is birds pecking away at him, pecking away at him. But he's an antique, see, so he made 1915. And I'll tell you what, that's a good buy. I can make a good buy on that thing right there. See, uh, and I can get you a trailer, and uh, you can take it with you, you know, with the trailer. I have to get some tires for the trailer. It's been sitting out there since 19... Uh... Well, anyway, it's been out there a long time. But this one here is uh, $28.95. I want it, dear. It's the best windmill in the industry. Give you years and years of dependable action. It would look so great out behind the garage. No. Uh, could I interest you folks in uh, uh, maybe a, a, a concrete mushroom or a little concrete elf? I got, I got a sale on discontinued elf. Let's go. It's getting late. We aren't going to buy any junk today. And so, in the great tradition of the tourist, our family acquired a Dutch windmill for the lawn. The year after, we got two flamingos. And then the year that the old man got his raise, we finally got that beautiful white plastic donkey. Oh, the urge to add beauty to one's life is irresistible. 